<clears throat> okay, Macrad, I've got to do this pretty quickly because I'm supposed to be going to work, but just wanted to show you the YouTube is the new design of this uh, solenoid motor and something very cool, hopefully, by the end of it. This is the ring, the new ring. Magnets are being slid in here. It's in six segments like that. So they, um, yeah, it's, each piece has got a magnet in it at the moment. Uh, I just wanted to show you, Macrad, to put it together, I just tilt both the end pieces like that and then bring them together, you know. Um, I'm not putting pins in mine. I'm actually, like you were suggesting, um, I'll be actually countersinking these and putting small screws each side. All right, so I'll just um, separate this again. So you make your ring... Place on your coils, uh, so they're on on the ring, of course. Uh, straighten that up. You know, you would obviously put your screws in. I'm not going to be doing that, so we're just going to uh, whack these coils on. I just want to try to. Um, I'll put this one at the top, the one without the wiring. Um, so, okay, we whack them in position. Um, of course, you put on your spaces, you know, these spaces we made, they're, they're already on pl in place there. Um, you, you know, set your, your, fr uh, your body up with, the, with these segments, you know, put your bolts through and your spaces on, of course. Okay, that way you can position your coils where they're supposed to be place on your rollers now these rollers I'm actually going to get a, like a double I mean like a stuck on foam to put on there to give them a bit of padding to make it quiet when it runs but anyway so we whack that on we whack on our oh sorry better put the other spaces on these spaces are what keep it all at the right distance the rollers allow us to put pressure um, against them to keep them in place so all right, so we whack this on mine's in two par uh, separate parts this so that's why it's a bit different from yours macro um, I had to make it in parts because my printer's not good enough uh, to fit, fit it all on you know uh, That bolt's only just big enough to get get through by the looks of it. I've got to buy new ones of these. I've got, um, of course, I want to get stainless steel. Uh, okay. Okay. So all they go on like that. Hell of a lot easier to put together this one, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll have all the nuts in this way. Uh, drill these holes out to four mil macro and use four mil bolts. Oh no. Now I might put a nut on here just to keep everything tight. At least one on each corner. Um, one, oh, one in the corner. Okay, so I'm putting one on each opposing corners for now, just so I can speed this video up for you. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one, Macro. Yeah, I'm very excited actually because, you know, with the last one we built, we couldn't get no movement from the, well I couldn't anyway, from these coils, you know. I thought it wanted to move but I wasn't able to verify it, you know, because it was a bit tight. I did um, free up that other one in the end, <clears throat> but 
I still wanted to space the magnets apart and I think this actual concept's way better, you know, as far as opportunity and um, configuration, so, all right, back there for a second. Base on. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep things together. Last time I bloody pushed it on while it was um, not put together properly and I freaking cut the stand. Uh, try and be a bit more careful this time. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put these on, on here just to secure the base. Alright, that's that one. Hope right, this is still recording. <laughs> I won't waste any more time. So, okay. So, there it is. Alright, now what I wanted to show you, Macrad. Now these are my old coils, right? I just want to show you. Watch that. Watch that ring. All right. Um, hopefully it'll move. I've got to got to find the right place, of course. Um, yeah, see that? This is a twelve volt battery. But see the movement in the in the ring. This is just with one coil, right? So it's going to move, man. Um, I think once we put the three coils, I'm thinking too, you know, like putting a coil coil, you know, one per driving, one for charging. Um, but yeah, so that's the new um, layout, mate. She goes together well. Um, oh, my ring's not um, flat. At the moment, that's the problem there. But it doesn't touch anything, you know, even, even though it's not not quite um, uniform. It's still not rubbing on any any components. So uh, that's why I wanted to pat it, just to make it um, be quieter when, it's, when it is running. It's going to make a bit of noise, you know. But, yeah, looking good, mate. But anyway, that's all I can do for now. I better get to work. All right, catch you, Macred.